Hey, math people. I just wanted to make a really quick one on cross multiplying. So the thing about cross multiplication is that a lot of people are actually pretty good at it. So if I gave a person a problem that had some sort of proportion in play with a variable, uh, I'd imagine a lot of people can cross multiply and solve. So my, my problem with cross multiplication isn't that it's hard. It's that a lot of people don't know what it is. They don't know why it works at all. Somebody just taught them how to do it. They said, hey, this is how you solve those things. And they're like, okay. So the reason why I'm making this video is because of a professional development for teachers a while back. Uh, what the environment was like was there was a teacher teaching teachers and the teachers were just giving the teacher responses to her teaching. The idea was that us as teachers, we were acting as the students. But here's the thing, we weren't acting, we were actively contributing, we were, we were giving our honest effort. We were actually trying. There was a point in the teacher's lesson, the one that was teaching the teachers, and a proportion came into play. So when the teacher asked, okay, how do you solve this? Uh, and one of the middle school teachers in the crowd, she rose her hand and she said, well, you cross multiply. And then the teacher teaching everyone, she said, good, okay, how does that work? And then the room grew tense. You can hear a pin drop, that's how quiet it got. You are putting this teacher on the spot here. This is ultimately their livelihood you're talking about. So the teacher in the crowd that said cross multiplication said, I don't know, it's how I was taught. It was awkward. I even heard someone kind of murmur in a corner, that's the problem right there. So a lot of people, teachers included, just memorize things. Instead of understanding what's truly going on in the background, they just do this little thing and hey, it worked. I don't care what goes on in the background. I don't care why it works. It just worked. That's a problem. So the beauty behind math and ultimately what makes math make sense is the why, is the how. Why can you do this? How does it work? So my math loving friends, do you know why cross multiplication works? Let's do a quick example. So adding fractions is supposed to be intuitive. If you have say half of something, plus another half of something, you have that whole thing, one whole thing. A half plus a half is a whole. The reason why this worked, like denominators. If these didn't have like denominators or the same denominators, you wouldn't be able to immediately add them across. You would have to find the least common denominator or just a common denominator in general. So this idea actually comes into play with solving proportions, and that's what we're gonna to move to right now. So in this situation here, I have 16 over 24, and that's equal to two over x. You can use cross multiplication to solve here, as seen in red. But let's look at why, because of like denominators. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna multiply both sides by the other side's denominator over itself. So in this process, you're actually going to get the same denominators. It's essentially what cross multiplication is, um, but a lot of people just don't know that. When you do that, when you end up multiplying it by the other side's denominator over itself, you actually get like denominators. Once you have like denominators, you can set the numerators equal to one another. Just like how if I asked, 3 over 2 is equal to what over 2? Well, 3 over 2. Duh. It's the same line of thought. So this is sort of that skipped step, that step that occurs in between. So yeah, cross multiplication is definitely more effective, but it's important to know why it works. Once you realize you can set those numerators equal to each other, it is the same problem. So there's a bigger picture here, guys. Know the whys and hows. Question the system, man. Ask the establishment, why do I have to live underneath these rules? Okay, don't go full anarchy on me here, but do you see the point I'm trying to communicate? Sure, here we're just viewing cross multiplication. But this goes on to not just math, but all things. You don't want to be blindly led through a system when you don't even know how that system works to begin with. Some food for thought for you, eh? Okay, well anyways, I'm going to continue mathing on. I hope you do the same. I'll see you in the next video.